Hello everyone, I'm this Red Gamer and welcome back to a beautiful sunrise in our Savannah Zoo. Look at that in the back, the sun is slowly rising. I don't know if the sun actually comes up. Oh, there it is. Is that it? No? Maybe? Yeah, we're here on our new platform that we built last episode. Looking over our cheetahs here and our uh, giraffes and ostriches down here. Hello down there, how you doing? And this empty enclosure that we still need to fill. But before that, remember in the last video I had a comment saying, you want the grass back, you don't want the grass back? Well, four people wanted it back and two didn't. So we're going to put it back. Even someone said, please don't add the green uh, add the green grass. Your park is supposed to be in a savannah, not in a genetic field. Takes away the feeling that you're in an African savannah. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's meant to be in a savannah or more of a, you know, because if it was a savannah, it was actually like a, just a proper free... Uh, free roam sort of animal thing, but most of these are actually still like big in, uh, big enclosures, so it's kind of a like, this is the sort of savanna, but like not really, it's like a nice nice place for people to go and then they can see savanna animals. Like who, who, who would actually live in the savanna and then go to a savanna zoo? Why wouldn't you just, you know, go to, I don't know, see the animals yourself in the wilderness somewhere, or go on a car tour thing? This is more of a zoo type thing, where people go and can see savannah animals that they usually don't. So, see this grass area, it's 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 fine. It's not like it can be a sort of oasis thing. It's not like too far fetched. And then all the animals themselves are in the savannah area. That's I think that's 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 perfectly fine. This area up here looks very empty. Just realized that. Might need to do something about that. Um, why are you people? <sighs> Some people are so silly. Why are you people so silly? Are you? No, I'll just leave. They'll be fine. Nothing's gonna happen to them, so we'll just ignore them. Okay, so it's time to have a look at the animals. By the way, yep, I know there's no face cam, and I was gonna point out my hand to say there's no face cam here, but that'd be fucking stupid because you can't obviously see me because there is no face cam there. Anyway, there's no face cam because it kind of fell behind my desk and I couldn't be bothered picking it up and stuff like that and I don't know, just stuff. So, we want to have a look at the s tropical savanna. What animal? We could have the terror birds in here. What else do we still need? What don't we have? Hmm, I think we have most of these things. So maybe the, the terror, but the Algodoris thing. I think this enclosure is big enough for them, so that should be good. They do like to run, don't they? So, we'll just put the little thing here, like that. We'll give them, obviously, their meat that they like to eat. Now, this is an animal from a mod, I believe. I don't think they like to go swimming, do they? They do like tar pits, obviously. <sighs> The amount of times I've taught said this now, I should probably stop saying it, otherwise I'll get as annoying as the tar pits are. Um, let's... How about this bit up here, with the cheetahs on the side, is all kind of bush, bushed up, so they don't really go up there and see each other, otherwise they might start wanting to kill each other and break down the fence or something. We don't want that, we want them to be peaceful animals. So we're gonna put you here. There you go. Have like a wall of trees. You can still go between there, kind of. So should be fine. Sorry for that. That's my phone going off once again, because I'm very unprofessional, as I as I always am. Which is which is probably oh people. Why do you go down there? Oh, my God. Don't go down there like you silly fools. Look, you move there. You. Hey you, you person there, you little girl with the elephant hat, oh, boy, girl, same thing. We'll need to make this little fence bit here that blocks people from going off the side. Just like that. There, now people can't go off the side and they also can't go from down here that way. There we go. Now they're, they're stuck up there because they cannot step over that little bit. Okay. So, Aldegatabababa. Yes, that's the name of this bird. Wait, Warthog 9 needs more space. Where are you, Warthog 9? Do y'all need more space? No? Why did you... 
Why? What what's it what's wrong with this bit here? Do I need to level you out a bit more? Is that better maybe? Ooh, seven baby ostrich. We have a baby ostrich, let's look at it. Oh look, they're so tiny. It's miniature, they can be like the size of the foot of their parrots. Parents need to be careful. Look how many of them there are! There's a whole horde of them! So many ostriches! Oh my god, so many baby ostriches. That is crazy. If one of our lions just turned to adult as well. Oh my god, look at this whole army of baby ostriches. And there's more eggs. Oh my god. Cheetah 6 was attacked. God damn it, cheetahs. Why do you eat each other? It's not a good thing. Don't want you to eat each other. Ah, oh, look, we've got... Oh no, they're not baby ones, are they? They might be, who knows. Um, sheet of six. Lion 11 has grown from young to adult. That's nice. Mm. Need some more space. You're fine now. You're really hungry. Find some food. Need some more space. Grown from young to adult. Cool. So, let's have a look at our map here. So, now we have our little terror beds here. We've got the big one here. Oh, Two things in cages. We need to look at that. We've got lions here, giraffes and ostriches, wild dogs, cheetahs, terror birds, camels and fennec foxes. The torches is up here. We still got a bit of the zoo left. Okay, so um, let's look at the crates. Why are you in a crate? Thompson gazelle in a crate. Why would you put Thompson gazelles in crates? Oh, you already need more space. Dang it. Oh, wait. You solidify yourself. Is that better? Yes, that's better. Okay, we need to be careful with that thing because they're silly and solidify themselves. That's apparently a word now. To solidify oneself. Okay, so this kind of goes over to the desert. So if you look at, because if we look at our tropical savanna, right? We don't, we don't need these. We've got these, got these, got these, got all of these. Do we have rhinos? We don't have rhinos, do we? Definitely not in here. Are they here? No, they're not here. They're not here. And they're not here. We need definitely need rhinos. And that's about the last thing that we really want or need. Rhinos can go up here. Perfect. Perfect space for the rhinos. So let's do that. Rhino space. It's a rhino space and a half. Okay, so if you just make you go all the way down to, wait, we'll go from here, then we'll go straight up to the edge of the zoo. Up to the straight up. Is it, is it, is it? Yes. But obviously we need this and that. Okay, that's a very oddly shaped. Uh, we're going to just get rid of this bit here. Damn it, not the pathway, you fool. You fool. You fool. Let's get rid of that bit. There we go. This can go away. This can go away. This can go away. There we go. This can path up. Come on. Path up. There we go. You're pathed up. Pathed. Oh, that's my phone making doop doop noises. Again, I shall probably take care of that. Okay, just one second. Okay, um, 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 how, hmm, hmm, ah, ha, how, hmm. That is a good question, isn't it? How, hmm, hmm, ah. We need, we need this. If we need this fence, oh no. We'll just do that. And do that. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Go you and then do this. Do this. There'll be a crossing point for the for the for the thingies. For the rhinos. And they can live inside of that part. Oh god, that's the wrong wall. Wrong wall. Look out. It's a wrong wall. Oh, dromedary camel has given birth. Let's check out the baby dromedary camel. Where are you, Drum? No, oh, look at you, so small and cute. You're just gonna sit in that corner, yeah? You're just chilling under the tree. Under the tree. 
Okay, rhino time. Rhino time. Let's take care of our rhinos the best, because we will have the rhinos, and when, even if they go extinct in the wild, we'll have lots of them. Because we take care of our rhinos, and we love our rhinos. Okay, they can play with the dinosaur thingamabob here. Can have a scratching post if they even end up down there at any point. They do need their food. They definitely do need their food. They can have logs of things because, you know, that, that's kind of more natural to them. And they'll, they'll be happier. I hope. Then the water is obviously also something they would need. Because, you know, they need to drink. Otherwise, they might sort of not live <laughs> yes might also sort of not live aka might um well, i can't even think of the word now you know when dehydrate die of dehydration that's it that's word i was looking for that's the word that is the word of words that i was looking for and i found it really weird place is where i found it but i found it so that's good. Placing random things about for the rhinos to enjoy their little grassy area. There we go. That's cool. That's cool, right? That's cool. Um, why don't we give them a float in a barrel and a ball as well? Just because, you know, it's it's natural. So how many shall we have? We shall have four males four females and then they can meet up and do fun stuff together and they should be able to go here I wonder what happens if I do this rhinos will be able to go through maybe <laughs> we'll have to find out if that actually works or not but it's sure I'll be fine totally fine oh it's night again it is a whole load of cars stuck here Son an ostrich, unable to reach root dish. Silly ostrich. Silly animals are not being able to reach things. Okay, let's have a little look from our platform up here. See what it looks like. Sorry, I just walked. Oh, you have you're wearing headphones. Oh, you. Oh, that's from that headphone kiosk. People are using it. Nice. We can learn something about animals. We teach them stuff about the animals while they go look at the animals. That's pretty cool. Oh, look, there's a cheetah on the thing. Oh, cool. Oh, there's our terror birds down here. We can't see. Oh, we can sort of see our rhinos back there as well. Awesome. The rhino enclosure. Oh, no, that's the wild dogs back there. And that's the rhinos there. We can't even see the fence in between because that's there. I, I just saw it. There it is. Cool. Lots of rhinos back there. Uh, they mostly be seen through the car, right? But I believe they can also kind of be seen through down here, maybe. Not really. Not really from down here. No, you can't really see it. So it's... It's an exclusive to the car trip ride thing. Okay, I don't know if the rhinos will ever actually go through here or not, but we'll 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 see if, if anyone ever ends up on that side. Ends ends up. And if not, oh well, it doesn't really matter. Oh, are you gonna go through? Aye. Oh, yes, does it work? Will it work? He's just standing there now. He's just standing there. No, he's turning around. Dang. So if what why if we delete it? Just go there. You go sit there and see if he can come through. Can't reach the metal food trough. Ah, that's because he couldn't actually get through for once. But now he can. And he can drink. Cool. So I think that was it for now, everybody. That was the episode. That was episode eight nine eight. Eight, episode 8 that was and next episode we shall look into some other sort of stuff because we're out of savannah animals but we still have some space left what are we going to do by now that next episode please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy this see you next video